So, please welcome on the stage, Mr. Noel Curry! Passion. They say the secret of a good, better culture talk is to pick a subject about which you're passionate, and then hopefully the audience can share in your enthusiasm. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share with you one of my secret passions. Decorative plates. <laughs> Those charming little knickknacks that can brighten any home. You've all seen one. You probably know someone who's got one. You might even have one yourself. If you do, how can I put this? Uh, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you and the mongrel of art and crockery they insist on sticking on your wall with a passion. My contempt for these monstrosities can melt the enamel of a kitsch kitten monstrosity at a distance of 20 yards. Plates are fine. Plates are a perfectly functional tool designed for eating off. So if one is made that is deemed to be so nice that we think it's a good idea to stick it on a wall, then someone somewhere has messed up big time. So who is to blame? Well, over a thousand years ago, the Chinese uh, invented what we would recognize as the modern plate when they discovered uh, the process for making porcelain. Don't worry, I'm not going to try and do the accent. Uh, and then later, in the 1800s, they became popular amongst European nobility. Indeed, having a good collection, collection made you something of an eligible bachelor. I think the theory was that if you were boring enough to collect plates, there was a pretty good chance that you didn't have syphilis. Uh, but as with most worldwide problems, although they may have started in Europe, in order to make it into a global catastrophe, you have to get the involvement of Yes, you've guessed it, the good old US of A. How unlike the Yanks to plump for something shallow, gaudy and stupid. Uh, but I think we all know what sinister cabal are really to blame for their continuing popularity. I talk about, of course, grannies. They're just evil, you can see it in their eyes. And I think you have to get to uh, a certain stage in life before you look at a nice plate and think to yourself, I know just the place for that. This is not normal behavior. If your granny, for example, took her favorite chair and nailed it to a wall <laughs> where no one could sit on it, we wouldn't be going, oh, that's charmingly eccentric. We'd be saying, honey, call the home, it's time. Uh, and this is, these aren't the only victims of granny's struggles for reality. Look at that poor dog. And a toilet paper. Well, you all poo. You've got to wipe your bum. Stop pretending like it doesn't happen. I think this gets to the crux of my problem with uh, decorative plates. By sticking a plate on a wall, you're denying a plate its true nature. You're, you're not letting it function as a plate. You're besmirching the soul of the plate. This is torture. This is punishment. This is nothing less than plate crucifixion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And not only do we crucify these plates, we do it in public. We want other people to see our madness like it's a warning to other plates. <laughs> the most popular room in the house for sticking up plates is the kitchen. These people aren't decorating, they're sending a message. <laughs> to the other plates saying, don't get above your station, don't get too fancy. Look at that poor wee fella at the top there. He doesn't know what he's done wrong. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> What did I do to displease you, master? Was I too beautiful? Like Icarus, did I fly too close to the sun and I'm getting punished for my hubris? And I think I would be a little bit more forgiving if there was anything uh, approaching actual art on the plates rather than a genre that can charitably be described as kitsch uh, And when they're not busy looking like a chocolate box uh, reject, they're straying into a territory that can only be described as darkly sinister. <laughs> this is what happens when you stray onto page two of a Google image search. <laughs> and for those at the back, yes, that is a clown bottle feeding a pig. This plate was given to me by a friend. Uh, and on the back, it has a warning saying, do not get wet. So even if I wanted to use it as a plate, and the manufacturer has forbidden me from doing so. So I think we can all agree there isn't a decorative plate in the world that wouldn't be better looking just like this. So how do we fight this modern scourge? As with most problems, direct action is the most cogent approach. So 
So if you wander into somebody's house and see a plate on their wall, start eating chips off their telly, stick a goldfish in their toilet, wipe your arse on their curtains, do what needs to be done to help them see the error of their ways, and together we shall prevail. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, you can see others on the Better Culture YouTube channel. Subscribe now and you'll be notified when new ones are uploaded. Thank you.